You're one more season at Leeds away from having a top knot. <laughs> no chance. <laughs> no chance. <laughs> It's your boy HP like the source Harry Panero and you are watching Um and this is Assumptions with the one and only Patrick Bamford. How are you doing today, my brother? Yeah, I'm good, I'm good. How are you? I look good, I feel good. Amazing. And <laughs> it's not every day you get to speak to a Premier League striker. We've got some assumptions for you. So we're gonna start okay. off very, 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 very nice and easy. You enjoy proving your doubters wrong. Shush the haters. Uh, yeah, I do, kind of. It's a little bit of motivation. I don't wanna like turn around at the end of the season and say, oh, I told you so. But in my head, I'm thinking that. You're better than you me. Know what I mean, <laughs> I'm not gonna say it, but I'm thinking it. You've done absolutely amazing. Probably more better than anyone ever for, but what would you put the form down to? Maybe I've studied the game a lot more this year, put a lot more time into analysis and things like that. I think I've like handled the highs and the lows a bit better. A little bit of balance there. Yeah, yeah I always knew you were a smart balance. lad. All right, so we've got another assumption here and it is you are the hardest working player in the Prem. You're right up there in terms of distance covered, which is, which is crazy. If you'd have asked me that, probably like what, three, four years ago, I'd have said, no, I'm a lazy player. I'm not like, <laughs> I work, I'm not the kind of guy who will run about and do the extra work that you kind of don't need to do as a striker. But that's down to the, the manager, really. He's kind of instilled that in me. I think that's probably what's helped take me to another level. No. But I wouldn't say I'm the hardest working in the Prem. Stats don't lie, Patrick, man. It's not your fault yeah. that the stats are in your yeah, favor. It's, it's not your fault. You just do what you got to do. I know you're a nice guy, but there's an assumption here that you're secretly a proper I'd like to know, is that come from one of my mates? <laughs> Boy, I'm not going to say, I'm not a snitch, I'm not going to say where it's come from, but they're saying it, because everyone thinks you're a nice guy, like we've seen all the charity work you do, and we can tell that you've got a great heart, but one of your mates doesn't think that that's true. You know what, it depends what day you get me on. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like to think I'm a nice guy in general, and yeah. it's certain things, like if it comes down to winning something or being competitive, whether I'm playing the misses at like Crash Bandicoot or anything, <laughs> Like, nah, I need to win. Then I turn into a bit of a that in the heart, I'm a good guy. Aww. At least I think so anyway. Patrick, the good guy. <laughs> you feel at home at Leeds? Yeah, I think, um, well, I've been at a fair few clubs, but there's probably been two clubs where I felt fully settled and at home. One was at Middlesbrough, where I enjoyed my time. The second was at Leeds. And I'll be honest, the Leeds settle in took a little bit longer because when I joined, I got the bad injury and stuff, which made it all a little bit more difficult. Once, once I got past the injury and things like that, then yeah, I settled fully and I love it here. Well, another assumption we have here is you could nutmeg a mermaid. And the reason for that is because you actually have the most nutmegs in the league this season. Serious? Yeah, you're putting them through people's legs quite a lot. I don't go into a game thinking I'm going to make someone today. I'd probably say even in my team, Rafa, he's got the flair and the silky skills, the Brazilian kind of yeah. side to it. salsa with it, you get me? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that guy. You've got a, you miss 100% of your chances you don't take tattoo. Oh no, I ain't got any tattoos. <laughs> <laughs> no, do you know what as well? That's a funny one because when I was younger, there was a few things that like, obviously mum and dad were quite strict on. One of them was tattoos. Always been put off them by my parents. And I grew up and never really actually fancied like when I got the chance to do it myself if I wanted to. I never really even fancied getting one. So it's not something I think I'd ever do. Well, you know, the reason why this assumption came up is because um, I think only Harry Kane has taken more shots than you this season. I mean, if you did have the tattoo, it would have made sense. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, that would have been a good story, but yeah. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> so another assumption we've got here is you were scared of Bielsa at first. Um, we've seen the footage of when you gave a hug after you scored a crazy volley in training. Was that the start of your beautiful relationship? Yeah, I guess so. I wouldn't say I was scared of him, but he's one of, he's imposing, isn't he? He's yeah, got yeah, such yeah. respect throughout the game. When I first signed for Leeds, the first thing he said to me, when he just like patted me on the head and said, good luck. And I thought, oh God, <laughs> like, this is a tough school. <laughs> so, then when I came back and he gave me the hug, I didn't really know what to do. Yeah. On the video, like I'm stood there until you someone shouts so, go to him. You look so confused. <laughs> Literally, didn't know what to do. <laughs> he's actually got the best knees in football as well. Oh yeah, no, I don't know how he squats like that. For that I've seen him 45 minutes, like he has not moved. Strong pods in there. After football, your next career will be a podcast star because you are one of the hosts of Leeds United's official podcast right now, which is doing amazing. Is that mm -hmm. what you see your future doing after football? Maybe not podcasts. Like, I'm enjoying doing the podcast at the minute, don't get me wrong, but I think something to do with like punditry. I mean, I joked maybe six or seven years ago about taking Gary Lineker's job <laughs> and I, I got stung so bad that right? I was doing the Call of Duty launch <laughs> and they dropped it on me saying, I've heard you wanted to take Gary Lineker's place. They just gave me a sheet of about nine lines and said, remember that and do this in front of the camera. So I'm trying to just remember it off by art and yeah. completely f***ed up. <laughs> 
<laughs> so I don't know whether I'll get there, but something like that. Your Call of Duty KD is outrageous. First things first before you answer this, are you a PS5 man or a gamer? What's your assumption? What do you think I am? I think you're a PC guy. Nope, I'm PS5. <laughs> <laughs> I knew there was something about you, Pat. But talk yeah, to me, nah, what's, your, what's your KD like? PC hackers and stuff. It's average, I think. It's like 1.3 or something. It's okay. Next assumption, Bielsa has helped elevate you tactically. Yeah, 100%. He's probably made a lot of the boys want to be coaches who probably didn't beforehand. So I think that I've learned so much from him that I wouldn't have learned if I hadn't worked under him. That's 100% right. Your bolt celebration is because you bloody love Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> I, do, do you know what's crazy? The bolt celebration is not for that, but I do love Harry Potter. The bolt's actually to do with, um, it's like bolt for planet. So my friends brought out these fully sustainable, planet friendly trainers, kind of raising awareness for saving the planet, helping the planet, even though I do love Harry Potter. So <laughs> you can take it both ways. Gianni Elioski is a few sandwiches away from a picnic. Uh, yeah, 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 you could say that. <laughs> I can't even put in words what he's like. He's just like a kid who's had too much sugar all the time. Yeah. He's completely hyped. When we got promoted, we went on holiday, like the boys and everyone took their misses. And I thought, oh, when he's with his missus, he'll be a little bit more calm. Exactly the same. <laughs> and the worst thing is she's kind of on his level oh, as well. They were crazy. That's crazy in heaven. <laughs> they were really good fun. But yeah, he's a nutter. Rafinha is an absolute baller. Yeah. So at the clubs I've been at, when you've had new players join, mm. generally it takes like a few weeks at least for them to settle in and you start seeing them do bits in training and you think, yeah, he's good, he's good. But Rafa, from the first training session, I was like, wow, this boy is good. He's going to be top and it's just, it would be good if Leeds hang on to him because he's yeah. he going to be top level. Luke Ayling is the biggest joker at Leeds. Yeah, he is. He's a clown. <laughs> <laughs> he's a funny guy, but he's just like, he manages to make everyone laugh no matter what, even if it's the stupidest Joe. You're your own fantasy football captain. Some games. Oh. Out of all the weeks, I've probably captained myself a good 60%. You're one more season at Leeds away from having a top knot. <laughs> no chance. <laughs> no chance. <laughs> I actually tried to grow my hair once at Middlesbrough. I'm thinking, yeah, I'll be that guy. That I remember, and I didn't recognise you when you came on. Yeah, and I had the long hair, and I thought, I'll be able to grow it and get that cool look. Mate, my hair didn't grow down, it just grew out like this. <laughs> it was like a like a horrible <laughs> wig. The worst time hair-wise in my career. And the last question is, you're keeping the summer free just in case? I don't know, I mean, I can't book anything now. Don't COVID, book for so no so trips. We'd have to wait and see. Yeah, I'm a last minute kind of guy anyway. You're listening? He's a last minute guy. So don't, don't be worried too much about getting him early. Just mind late. Just mind. <laughs> thank you so much, Patrick, man. You've been amazing. No, that's cool. Thank you. Big, big thank you for watching. Massive thank you to Patrick Bamford. Listen, guys, subscribe for more content coming your way.